All right, day one at the U.S. Open is in the books. I'm Jeff Rude, Alex Maselli, big story of the day. Rory McIlroy gets back on the horse that he fell off of at Augusta. He shoots 65, he's leading by three. My question to you is this, is the Masters hangover over or do we have to wait till Sunday to see how he responds? Both, I think, Both. actually. I think the hangover is over from what happened at Augusta in regards to him playing golf and playing good golf. Yeah. But when you get into a competitive mindset like that, at some point, some of what happened on the final round at Augusta is going to creep in a little, and he's going to have to fight it off. Well, a litmus test will come if he's leading on Sunday. I believe, I believe that's that true. That is, you know, I mean, he's 22. Am I, am I actually he agreeing with resilient. you? Yes, but yeah, I will agree with you. Yeah, we're kind of agreeing. Okay. Okay, I mean, a masterful round today. I mean, he's leading by oh, three shots after that's... noon. The score, it was harder. The, you know, well, the wind blew a little bit. The greens were tougher. Hey, he I'll, had 17 greens in regulation. 65 at a U.S. Open, it doesn't matter where it is, is a great, great score. You got to give it up to the kid, and he is yeah. a kid still. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. But just think, just I, I hate to do the if thing, but just think if he would have won. Well, the everybody would be talking grand oh, slam. Wow, it'd be just. Well, all right, since and he he's, did, play, and he's, and he's right. certainly in that all realm right. of how he's right. playing right now. Now that leaderboard. Here's an interesting thing about that leaderboard. Next, tied for second, are surprise winners of majors. Y.E. Yang, 09 PGA, Schwartzel, surprise winner. I mean, he shot, Schwartzel shot a quiet 68, and then right below them, we have another surprise major winner tied for fourth Louis. with Garcia's Louis. Right. So we have, we, have, we have four surprises at the top of the board. McElroy is a surprise that he well, blew it at Augusta, and then these surprise winners. I'm not sure. I'm not, well, see, that's what I understand. You, I don't think you can use the word surprise and winner in the same sentence. They're not surprise Louis winners. Louis was no. a surprise. They're winners Schwartzel they're was winners, a surprise. But they're winners. But they but were surprised. They won major Why championship. Why Yang was that a surprise? You're smoking they're dope. Hey, Come on. Wait, wait. Should, we talk, huh? should we tell everybody how yeah. much you lost on the no, Yang How much bet? you pay for the pharmaceuticals <laughs> is what you need to look in the camera and tell the people. Why Yang? How much did you lose on Why Yang and Hazel? I don't know what I lost on Louis exactly. is what I lost And that too. I know. Yeah, I don't know about what. Why are we talking about our little side bets? I don't think it's a surprise. Now you can't say they're surprises because they've won major. They were surprises when they won. What, but they're not now. Not, they're, no, they're not now. Okay. But now but, you break, but, it, break but, it down. But they are, all these guys are in a position to validate. McElroy is oh, trying to validate. No, no, no. That's Yang unfair. is trying to win another one. It Schwartz is another one. Like no, Bob but it's a, but it's another, but, but, but it's another step. I mean, these guys right. were it's all surprise step. things. If you if you win another two, one, two there's things. a validation. Two different things. First of all, same with Garcia. Garcia, they these guys have something to prove. Okay, all of them. Well, see, I don't agree with that. Louis Oosthuizen does not have anything to prove. He has a major championship, all right? He's he played in... And, 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 and you may have said it's a surprise, but he did it with no problem against a very good field. He's played in eight majors. He made the cut in one. That's right. That's right. But the bottom line is, is he won the one. He had a chance I to win. I understand that. Which, which, and if, my hat is if, off to him. And if, if Dustin see? Johnson, if Dustin Johnson, Nick Watney, Rory McIlroy, Sergio Garcia had done that, there'd be a whole different viewpoint on those guys. But guess right. what? They did not. Okay. Schwartzel is in second place. Right. He won the Masters. Nobody's talking Grand Slam. I pop, I pop that to you. Grand Slam, Schwartzel. You know, he's the most impressive, unimpressive, unimpressive major winner you've ever seen. And he shot the quietest 68 today That's you can right. shoot. And you know what? You know what that means? That means he's one of those guys that could actually do it because he will always be under the radar until we're in the final round of the PGA Championship in Atlanta. Then maybe we'll say, hey, guess what? Charles Schwartzel well, is pretty he's, good. He's going to be in the spotlight if he wins this week and he gets half yeah, the slam. That's possible. The okay, Robert Rock. Robert Rock, one Rock. of the most interesting stories at this Open. Won the Italian Open on Sunday. Didn't have a visa. Went through, got to New York City 11.30 last night. Paid $1,000 for a prearranged cab. Got here at 3.30. Shot 70, one under par. He looked like a deer in headlights when he was never, talking well, about the whole thing. Never saw the golf course before, uh, except it for has on been, TV. It is being reported that he spent maybe twenty-four thousand on, uh, on, on to get the emergency visa. He denied that to you. Pick he it did, up from he here. He denied that pick to it, me. Pick it, he, pick it up from when here. I asked him about that, he says, "What are you talking about?" I said, "Well, that's what's being reported," and he goes, "Well, that's inaccurate," and I go, "Okay, well, what's accurate?" And he goes, "Well, I don't really think that's necessary. They have to." tell people about that business. I say, that's fine, you don't have to tell anybody. But guess what? When people are writing 24,000, they're thinking it's 24,000. And maybe it was only 20,000, but the bottom line is it wasn't cheap. Right, right. And we don't know why he had to get an emergency visa. It's also been oh, writing that know. it could he, be linked. He, 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 well, he, well he, had, he, he had a drinking and driving issue back here in he the States a, when he, had, he was 18. Right, he had a DUI. He was playing with Georgia State. But he was asked whether that, that violation and the visa were linked 
the reason he had trouble, he said, no, it just takes time for these things. Do you buy that? No, I don't. We're, we're talking about a guy from the UK coming to the US, which happens all the time. It's got more to do than just, you know, he didn't have a visa. First of all, the only way he's, he, he needs a visa because he had the DUI. That's why he needs the visa. Now, it's not like they just say, well, we'll just rubber stamp you. They take some time to investigate. He said he was being, he was being interviewed on Monday in Italy. So obviously well, that's it when takes a little, yeah. well, well that's what means it takes a little more time than just a yeah. day or two. It took over a week, which means they had to do the investigation, do what they do in the US, do what they do in the UK, and then give them the visa. Okay, two more topics. Bad day for the top three in the world. Oh. They all they're paired together in the morning. They tee off around eight o'clock. Luke Donald and Keimer, they shoot seventy-four. Westwood shoots seventy-five. Between them, they hit twenty-two of forty-two fairways. Your thoughts? Well, first of all, I don't know what happened with Luke Donald. Goes birdie, birdie on the, what would arguably be the two hardest holes yeah. on the backside, yeah. 10 and 11. Right. And then Starting goes, the day. And then goes, well, let me think, was it like six over on, on the, the last, next seven holes? No, on the last six of that nine, yes. Yeah, it yeah. goes six over in the last, yeah, last seven holes. Yeah, well, right. the last That's six, yeah. Yeah, okay. nine, yeah. yeah and, and one of them was a double, which I saw at 18. Without going in the water. Without going in the water. Right. You know, so, I mean, and then he, comes, he picks it back up a little on the front nine, but the front nine is the easier nine out here by far. Right. So, I mean, Luke Donald went from a two under on the board with everybody else. Everybody's going, oh, there's Luke Donald, to going in the tank. I don't know what happened there. Lee Westwood missed putts. Lee Westwood always well, missed Well, he bogeyed for the last seven. Right, but, I but, watched it. And he he chilly chunked the chip. He hit it in the six bunkers. Right. Uh, uh, Donald, who's, who's the best short game in the world, three putted twice. Keimer three putted twice. Right. Westwood, it, it, was, uh, it, it was sloppy. We, what we, well, what we need to say is this. These greens are very young. They haven't matured. Two years There's old. a lot of issues with these greens. But, but that being said, everybody has to putt okay. them. Last topic, the Americans. Bad day for the Americans. Phil Mickelson, King yeah. Kahuna, 74. Steve Stricker, 75. Listen, of the top nine scorers after the first round, there's one American in the top nine. His name is Palmer. He's tied for fourth, and it's not Arnold. Oh, it's but, Ryan. Yeah, but but Stuart Sink isn't that far out either. Well, there's some tied for tenth. Right. Okay. So okay. you got. But in the mean, top, in the top he nine, he's an open champion got, at least. I understand that. Okay. All right. But but Ryan but he has Palmer. To validate, right? No, he didn't have to validate. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ryan Palmer tied for fourth. Only American. Very disappointing day. Uh, yeah, shocking day actually. Huh? I would have thought that we're we gonna have to try out Nicholas tomorrow. We got Palmer now. We well, need Nicholas. No, I don't think we need. What we need is is we need somebody to show up tomorrow that has a red, white, and blue on the back of their hat or on their sleeve or whatever the hell it is. But we need somebody to show up because lately we haven't been showing up. Okay, we're in the nation's capital. We showed up. We're gonna show up tomorrow. Join us. Thank you. That was it. That was it. Okay.